with senior defensive end, Kasim Edibale. How are you? Good, how are you? Oh, very good. All right, let's just get started here. Well, I, first, I want to talk about your story is so phenomenal, how you ended up at Boston College coming all the way from Germany. Yeah. Um, so let's just start about your days growing up in Germany and what was that like there? You know, it's obviously a little bit different. It's a different country, but everybody loves soccer, so everybody loves doing sports. Mm -hmm. And then I saw football, and I just like competing. And I didn't really want to compete in soccer. I saw football and I always liked it from day one. So you say football, however, football in Germany is soccer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so was there a lot of American football in Germany? Not as much, but you know, there is a little scene of American football and we had the NFL Euro back then. And um, as a little kid, you know, there's 30,000 people in the stadium watching football, which was unheard of at that time. And I just loved it and I had to do it. How, how, um, how did you get interested in just by watching on TV and um, you had, to, was it hard to kind of try to find a team there? It was not as hard, and especially in my town, it's, a, it's, a, it's one of the bigger football towns in Germany. Mm -hmm. And um, I, just, I just saw this one team, the Hamburg Huskies. <laughs> Hamburg the Huskies. Hamburg Huskies. You're joking, and, right? and, you know, it was, it was from there on, it just that was my team. So you gave them a little extra relish or, I don't know, that's, <laughs> that's so funny, Hamburg Husky. So that's where you grew up in Hamburg. Can you give us a kind of an idea if we've never been to Hamburg, like tell us what it was like there? I mean, I, a lot of people who are from Hamburg say Boston is, is, is a little bit similar oh, really? because it's, it's really chaotic. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's a really green, green town. You know, you, you see a lot of trees and it's a pretty town. And I feel like Boston kind of Irish, got this little European touch to it. Mm -hmm. So I can see the similarities as well. So you got your communications um, major. What do you plan on doing with that? I mean, you know, obviously you're going to try to make it to the NFL and um, next season, and probably have a pretty good shot at that. But what would be your plan B? I, I'm definitely seeing my future in the United States. Mm -hmm. You know, I think there's a lot of opportunities here, and you know, BC has a really special bond with their alumni. You know, we got these uh, learning resources meetings, and we got alumni coming back mm -hmm. and maybe setting you up with other people and you get some internships. So. Let's just, let's just see what happens, and I'm, I'm really excited. Very fluent in German as well. Yes. All right, so let's start small, because okay, I don't okay. know anything about Germany. However, I did go one time. But um, all right, let's just say uh, hello. Hello. Oh, how, that's so hello. easy. It's easy. Hello. OK, hello. All right, how about something a little more difficult? Let's, something that always goes, hello, wie geht's? Wie geht's? Hello, wie geht's? Hello, wie geht's? What is that, friends? Uh, uh, no, it means. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, how are you doing? Hello, hello, be gate. So right there. I don't there. want to say that to you from now on. Okay, that's great. okay. That's okay. All right, so um, coach, um, let's just talk about he. You were one of the captains this year. Yes. How special is that that you got to be one of the captains? It, it is. It is. It is really special. I mean, the, the guys in my freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, you know, the guys I looked up to and I learned so much from, and then you know, the team elected me to be captain. That meant a lot. So I really give everything I have to teach them what I learned and just try to get the team going every day. So after each game, you all go into the locker room and you all sing together, right? It's, it's, a, really, it's a really nice tradition we set up now. We mm -hmm. got, so far it was Ian White who went twice on the chair and I, then one of the seniors just gets on the chair and then the whole team just gets together, we create a lot of energy, mm -hmm. sing the fight song, and it's just about coming together and just do one thing together as one. And I think it, it's really special and it, it's a lot of fun. Have you not got up on the chair yet? I gotta talk to coach. You need to get but up on the I, chair. Let me, I, mean, I want to get. I want to get another chair. Tell him you want the chair next. Well, Ian did a pretty good job. He did. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So, I'm. I'm not gonna put you on the spot to sing it for me, but okay. I'm gonna have you say it for me in German. Maybe the couple, the first couple phrases. Okay. All right. Whew. Okay. Let's <laughs> so listen. for Boston. So we would, we would say für Boston, für Boston, wir singen unseren stolzen Sang. <laughs> uh, unser unser stolzes Lied. Wir singen unser stolzes Lied. Für Boston, für Boston, bis es nicht mehr weitergeht. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of tricky. Is that, is that you could be completely wrong, and I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, one thing, I remember when we learned, when, when personally I learned yes. uh, this song, I got really confused because it's 
older English. Oh, so okay, I, had, okay. I actually had to double check what the words what mean. The because what, what was it? Tis wisdom's Tis, early fame. Yeah, what, what, <laughs> what I never, that never heard about that. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah. So you got you guys are pretty good. Like you some good singers that which I will contact later. Yes, we we do have a couple good singers on the team. All right. So now um, that you've done that, and I put you on the spot a little bit. Um, I want you to good luck the rest of the season, but you're gonna, we're going to take you out to the field here, and you're going to show me what it's like to be a defensive end Let's in college do it. football. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Now we are out here on the field, and I want to talk about some of the responsibilities of being a defensive end. So tell me which uh, your big responsibilities. One of, one, of, one of the biggest things is just like set the edge on the first, second down, and once it's third down, I got to come live and pressure the quarterback. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Pressure the quarterback. You um, also there's there's proper techniques in how to get these things done. It's how to accomplish your goal of pressuring the quarterback. So first, I know that there's some different stances, yes. whether it's a pass rush or the ball carrier. Yeah. So I'm going to play the role of Chase Reddick. <laughs> you know, if I go outside and outside and outside, and the tackle sets really hard to me, then coach says, okay, just go inside. <laughs> but uh. You know, and then I just and go inside and try to make a miss. You know, but if I if I if I don't make the play, coach might be really mad because I just missed contain. And he won't be calling you a dude. He, no, I, I gotta be a dude. <laughs> you will not be a dude I if you it. make any mistakes. No, you're not a dude. <laughs> bumping each other like just uh, what is, what's going through your mind at that time I mean I know it obviously ends the play for them and it's, it's, it's just a great feeling especially playing alumni you get the sack and there's so much energy around you and we, we got the super fans going crazy you got the sideline jumping you brought so much so much energy to the defense and the offense mm -hmm. so they're they're about to go out and, and play hard and you disrupted the, the, the energy of the other team. You don't have a mean bone in your body. Do people know this on the other side? No, off, the, <laughs> off the field, you know, I, I try not to show it. Yeah. But once it's game time, you got to be a little mean out there. The smile goes away once it's game time? Yeah. If I make a play, it stays if there. Pot, if you make a play, it comes back out. But uh, you, know, you, got, you got the little, you know, you be looking over there. Oh, that's right? pretty good. Let me see. How do you do that? That's pretty good. Oh, wow. And after, when, yeah. after the game, And after win. the sack or after the game, you, you got the smile. smile. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much for teaching us all Thanks about being a defensive me. end. I, I love it. your story coming from Germany. And now, as far as German goes, we're going to say thank you and goodbye. Okay. What do you think? Danke für das Einschalten und auf Wiedersehen. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. That was awesome.